The Minister of Information, Culture and Tourism, Lai Mohammed, has once again come down hard on international news network, the cable news network popularly called CNN, for using unverified footage of the September 20th Lekki Gate protest, dubbed the Lekki Gate massacre. The minister during a dialogue with members of the Broadcast Organization of Nigeria in Abuja described the incidents with CNN as an embarrassment, accusing the international news broadcast station of engaging in fake news and helping spread misinformation regarding the incident. He urged broadcast stations in Nigeria to shun the use of unverified videos for their news broadcasts and advised that they continue to ensure strict gatekeeping measures. I want to use this opportunity to appeal to broadcast stations to avoid using unverified information from social media, as this is fraught with danger. Despite the temptation, the stations must adhere strictly to the gatekeeping tradition instead of rushing to use materials that are not authenticated. Gentlemen, the use of unverified videos and the non-adherence to the basic tenets of journalism have combined to land an international broadcaster, CNN, in trouble. CNN in trouble. This station has been caught in the web of fake news and disinformation after it relied heavily on videos he took from social media for a supposed exclusive investigation on the incident at the Lekki Toll Gate on October 20. The station was also found to be inconsistent. After tweeting without a shred of evidence from its verified handle on October 23rd, the soldiers killed 38 people. So that soldiers killed 38 peaceful protesters at the Lekki Toll Gate on October 20th. The same station now said only one person was killed after a month-long investigation. 